This special edition of Cops was filmed with the Metropolitan Police Department of London. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Scotland Yard is the headquarters of the Metropolitan Police Service and uh, the Metropolitan Police was formed in 1829, Sir Robert Peel formed the, uh, the police service and Scotland Yard has traditionally been its headquarters. Um, it was called Scotland Yard because it was a place in Whitehall which was the, uh, the headquarters, the only building available at that particular time and the entrance to it was indeed to Scotland House, was through a yard. And since then, we've moved to three different buildings in that period of time. And, of course, we've moved from Scotland Yard to New Scotland Yard uh, and to another New Scotland Yard. Instructors, take charge. Stand across 10, turn the left. I've been a PC for about uh, 10 years now, and my wife is a PC as well. It's hard work, isn't it? Not having a bathroom, you don't realise how much you need it. No, I don't have a bathroom. You're going to be late. Uh, we're expecting our first child in about two months, so we're quite excited about that. Okay. Right. Careful. Yeah, cheers. See you later on, all right? Give me a shout on the radio. Yeah, okay. We try to be approachable to any person, who, whoever they are. The fact that we're unarmed, unlike officers in America, means maybe we are more approachable in that way. We're not, we're not seen as the aggressors as soon as we get out of our cars. But uh, there again, we'd, we have it a lot easier over here because the general public aren't armed. And uh, when we get out, we know that. And so it's not in the back of our minds that someone might get a gun out all of the time. is the only protection I've got in case things go wrong. We're supposed to only use it if we're severely, if we're attacked violently to protect ourselves or others. Obviously we can use it to smash windows to get into places if someone inside has collapsed or something like that. But um, not very effective against guns. I must admit, although fortunately I've never been faced with somebody with a gun yet. Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Hands, Kev. 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 Right, we're taking a call to 32 Gayford Road where we've got uh, allegations of a 
penetration of an assault. Gaysford. Oh, yeah, Gaysford. 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 Is he here? Where is where is he? He runs down the road away. What does he look what does he look like? Is that him there, is it? Has he got any weapons on him? Has he got any weapons on him? Okay. Fox or Sierra Fox got three receiving. Yeah, we've got this uh, suspect, Gayford Road Junction with Askew. Uh, can we have another unit here to back us up? Just in case he uh, goes over the top, it seems to be a bit mentally uh, disturbed, doesn't it? What's the problem? The problem is that she keeps on troubling me. She in keeps on troubling me. In what way? In every way. Yeah. In every respect, right? No, no more, I'm her son, right? I'm come. born from her, Listen. right? Can Listen, no, 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 no. I'm born from her. Yeah, we're just speaking right? to him now. I'm born from her. Yeah. Right? Directly, she shouldn't go on like that with me. Keep your voice down. Right? All right. I ask people, I ask people for a little prayer every day. Yeah. Right? Directly, yeah, she's my mum, right? No, I'm not shushing because oh, yeah. you get me vexed, right? right? I know you If you are. come here to talk to me, you talk to me. Yeah. I talk how I want, you talk how you want, right? No, I want you to talk Listen, how I'm, I'm, not talking. Talk, I'm not talking how you talk, yeah. right? Because I'm not no policeman. So what's, what's caused the problem today, then? It's none of your business because you even get me vexed, too, so you mind yourself, you, right? Listen, right? Just go, please. What's your name? No, it's nothing to do with you. Go home. Go ahead. So it's either she take me to court or don't yeah, bother with her mental health. She keeps on, on telling me about mental health. I tell her I'm yeah. sick and tired of them plays. All I ever do is go there, spew up, right. and come back out the next morning. What's going to happen now, yeah, is I'm arresting you for causing a breach of the peace. Yeah. You're going to come back to the police station and then you'll be released soon and calm down, all right? Do you understand that? All right? Yeah, but she ain't even giving me no cigarettes. OK, let's go. Well, can you carry my things? We'll bring that for you, right? She ain't even carrying me no cigarettes. We'll get you cigarettes, don't worry. Can you just stand up, please? Have you got anything in your pockets, like money or stuff, like wallet? Take out what you're going to take yeah. out, right? Mm -hmm. cool. Have you got anything in there you shouldn't have, like knives and needles? Mm -hmm. Will you take out what you take out? Well, I'm asking you a simple question. Will you take out what you take out? That's my letter, right? Sorry. Leave that alone. Leave no, it alone. No, I'm searching you now. It's my letter. Calm down. Right? down. That is my letter. Oh, put it down on there. Right? It's my property. Put it down on it's there. It's my property. Put it right, down on leave there. Leave my letter alone. That's your property as well. It don't matter. It's leave the letter alone. Right, put it you down. didn't read the front of that, though, did you? Right, you did, you, did you read the front of the Excuse burger me. thing? I didn't read it. All right. Thanks Let's go. A lot, man. Thanks a lot. and mother and the son is obviously self suffering from some form of mental illness and there was an argument between him and the mother and uh, he beat her around the head with a with his fist causing I mean she had swelling to the side of her head and to the side of her face and he apparently then tried to put his hands around her neck tried to strangle her it was quite a serious assault I feel that that's a side of the, our work which the general public don't really think about. And if they did see that, they'd probably see us in a better light. But um, that's something which I don't think they're aware of that we really have to deal with.
shields out of the way now. Come on, let's look for his arms and legs. Control that head, somebody. Control the head. TSG were formed about four years ago, specifically for the purpose of uh, public order. You always need a large body of men able to uh, move at short notice with their own command structure, vehicles, etc., to deal with any major event, be it disaster, public order, riot, or whatever. And uh, they are fit. They've got confidence in their own abilities, and they can do the job and do it well. 25 TSG officers will deal with a crowd of about 100 without too much of a problem. Basically, an off-duty PC has phoned us up, or has phoned the police station up, and has told them that they have, uh, that he's come across a man in the, in the street with severe facial injuries. He has tried to help him, but he's refused. So uh, we'll go down there, and we will really insist on that he gets help. He's off. Earlier, what would you say? On an E3 bus coming from uh, Hanwell. Yeah. Um, got up the top of the hill. Yeah. We come out the bushes. Uh, got the bus. And um, Thursday in a serious fight. I don't know. Didn't see nothing about you. Did he know you were a policeman? No, I haven't told him anything yet. And he says, did he say anything when we turned no, up? I was trying to. I was trying to get something out of him, but I was trying to get nothing if he didn't speak to him. As me. soon as he saw us, he off he went. Yeah. By Borders Road, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Really no, we haven't had a call at all, you yeah. see. This is the first call to come out. Yeah, I just said it, as I say, just saw you get on the bus. It's like you actually couldn't, bro. Like, what is it? Is it a cut or what? Cut the cuts. Looks like a cut of knife cuts on his face. Looks like it's something to the eye. To the eye. He didn't want our help at all. He didn't want any medical attention, even though he appeared to be quite badly injured. Um, we called an ambulance for him and we went with him to hospital. At the hospital they cleaned him up um, and it transpired that he possibly had done this himself. He had a schizophrenic personality, um, which the ward sister at the hospital knew about, but we unfortunately didn't. 
and it, it transpired that he hadn't been a victim of crime and uh, he refused to remain in the hospital. There was nothing else we could do for him. He refused any assistance from us and he was released from the hospital. He looked a lot better when he was released from the hospital than he did when he went in. Six o'clock in the morning, we're awaiting the arrival of the royal flight containing Prince Charles and uh, Princess Diana. You can see behind me some of the uh, vehicles, particularly the royal vehicles that have arrived here. They'll take the, the couple straight off to Kensington Palace, their uh, London residence. You can hear in the background uh, the aircraft moving around, but everybody is being prepared for the arrival of the royal couple. Each one is dealt with uh, on its own individual merit. Um, the threat as such is assessed um, and we respond to that particular threat. Uh, there are circumstances where you need a low-key security uh, in the background. Other times you need uh, upfront high-level security. So we're used to it. Um, it is fairly routine, but it's important to deal with each particular T um, job assigned to us uh, in its own respect, in its own, his own way. Today we've got the opportunity to uh, welcome to the country the uh, President of Poland, Lech Wałęsa. It's uh, a low-key security matter, but it's um, a state visit. So we'll need to look smart and alert, but the actual security threat isn't that high. 204. The VIP suite, the rear entrance, the suite is going to be searched by the, uh, the, the explosive dogs. But check the outside for um, improvised explosive devices. Maintain security there. And be aware when the VIPs are coming from the gate. I will get the, uh, the gate people to inform us when they're coming down. The only other slight problem is that before Lech Wałęsa arrives, uh, the Duchess of York is actually flying out. She's going out at uh, 9.40. You need to really be down here early to get these little problems sorted out, otherwise they start growing. You get uh, cars parked on top of vans, and then, uh, before you know it, you can't move. Well, my primary function is to maintain sterility or make sure it's still safe here for the president to come down. Um, when he comes off the aircraft, obviously I will be in close proximity to him, keeping an eye out what's going on around him. And then I'll escort him from the aircraft, or be close to him, until he gets into the VIP suite, or, or to his car, in fact. He's not coming in the suite today. So I'll be between him and uh, the danger area uh, from the aircraft until he gets into the car and I'll uh, see the convoy off. Uh, in the meantime, I've got people talking to me on the radio to let me know what's going on around here to make sure it is safe for him to leave this uh, sterile area out into the traffic outside the aircraft, uh, airport. So hopefully it will go uh, quite smoothly. There is no major threat that we know of against him, and um, it seems quite a, a low-key security uh, movement today, although it is a state visit. The problem out of the way, the president's arrived. Um, our only little problem now is to find out if there are any guns they want us to look after, and then uh, British Airways will probably take the aircraft away to secure it, and uh, that's it for today. Um,
Who knows what might happen tomorrow? 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3.